Hey Energy fans, your guys in green, a big home victory at Taft on Saturday, a quick turnaround. The good news is they stay at home, this time up Portland Timbers too. After 38 days without a USL game at Taft Stadium, OKC now with two in five days. Wednesday, the Timbers too come calling. OKC fresh off the Open Cup win last Wednesday and then a 1-0 USL result over OC Saturday. OKC likes the way they're trending right now. We're feeling pretty good, you know, to get back-to-back -back victories is good for building momentum and we're just going to keep carrying that into these upcoming games. Got to focus on ourselves and if we continue plus adding a little bit to, to that, we we can still do some, some, some big time damage. Uh, very optimistic about this group here. I think even back at the, the Phoenix game, there was a lot of improvement. Uh, we're at a good place right now where we've got to stay extremely hungry and work extremely hard. Uh, tight schedule coming up again. Uh, everyone, uh, we need everyone healthy and good competitive and we'll make some rotation as well if necessary. But I think the guys are at a very good place right now. One big reason for the recent success, Alex Dixon, the speedster with three goals in his last two games. His speed is tough to, to handle for, for the opponent. He's, uh, he's a handful, you know, when you can set him up one-on-one. -on -one, uh, nine out of ten times, he would create something very, very dangerous. Uh, he's in good form right now. Uh, credit to the team. They, they're doing a good job to set him up as well. The energy will need Alex's speed against the Timbers too. Portland comes in in last place in the Western Conference table, but like most years, the big club is using the two team to develop young players. Two games ago, they had one lineup. The, the, the last game, they had to make 10 changes. So it's, it's tough to, to exactly know what you prepare for, but it is what it is, and, and, and we'll focus on us. And, and the most important is that we're, we're getting, a, getting the result and put out a good performance again. They have a lot of young and spunky guys. You know, I watched a few of their games online, and ah, they get up and down the field. They're active. They move around, and we'll have to be very aware of that. One of those fast players to watch, former Heritage Hall standout Lamar Batista. He makes his return to Oklahoma City after signing with the Timbers after completing his freshman year at UC Santa Barbara. Recent history on Portland's side in this Western Conference rivalry. In their only meeting last year in the Pacific Northwest, Portland topped the energy 4-0. Yeah, we prepare for that. I think they they jump and they fast and but for us is is one more game. Uh, we have to go game to game and and same mentality, focus on the game and and keep the same line. Still no Andy Craven for this game. He is sitting out one last game for the red card suspension. And injury wise, both Philip Rasmussen and Cody Andrews, well, coach says they will be game time decisions. OKC thin right now on the back line with the bumps and bruises. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock on Wednesday night at Taft. If you want to be there in person for all the fun, you can be. Tickets are still available. Give us a call 235-KICK. Also, energyfc.com for more information. Remember, season seats are still available. And don't forget about that Energy app, a great way to experience all the fun that is Energy Soccer. For everything you need to know about your guys in green, I'm Brent Skarkey for Energy FC TV.